Today we're going to use a range basket to work on swing direction. Hi, I'm Ken Martin, PGA member and program, uh, golf program instructor here at Kaiser University's College of Golf. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel to see all the latest videos that are coming up. So a range basket can help us uh, work on swing direction. Swing direction uh, is uh, what I'm referring to is the direction that the golf club head is actually moving relative to a target line. So here in our simulator, we actually have a target line that's drawn up right through uh, the screen there. And it's uh, real easy to see where, what direction straight is. You could, typically, if you're practicing on a driving range, I would, I would recommend that you put an aim stick or another golf club down between you and the golf ball so you have a good reference for where the actual target line is. So in this case, uh, oftentimes we uh, see a lot of players that have uh, swing directions that are actually left of the target. And it's the typical uh, swing direction where a golf club is actually moving over the top of a swing plane and the golf club goes through impact actually uh, to the left of the target line. It can create either a pull to the left for a right-handed golfer, or if the club face is open, it can create the typical pull slice uh, depending on how open that club face is to it. So obviously the club face has to be uh, under control in order to be able to get the correct shot shape. And uh, one way that can help this uh, a little bit is that the swing direction is actually manipulated. So we know that w a golf club is swinging in a circle, uh, basically, and so that means that the golf club ideally is going to come from uh, inside that target line, back to the target line, the ball will be struck, and then for a straight swing direction, that club would then exit again uh, to the inside of the target line. If we have a habit of coming a little bit across the line, then the uh, range basket can really help. Now we have plastic range baskets here, and so they're not going to damage anything uh, if we happen to hit them. Uh, if you've got metal range baskets, I would recommend maybe use a bottle of water, uh, something along those lines, uh, something that you're not going to damage your golf club on. So the, this range basket is set about two feet behind the golf ball, uh, and you can see that it is uh, a little bit towards the inside of the target line. It's not outside the target line. It's a little bit towards the inside of the target line. So my target line's on this part of the basket here. What I'm going to do is first just take some practice rehearsal swings, and I'm going to make sure that this club head actually swings outside. I'm actually going to watch the club heads move, and I'm going to take the golf club so it goes outside the basket. And at this point, I'm going to make sure I turn my body enough so that I can bring the golf club forward from inside the basket. And then I usually like to pause there at the impact position and then let the club go through into a finish. So I'll do that again, nice and slow. We're monitoring the exact path that this golf club is actually moving on, pause at impact, and then go through into the finish. Best idea is to do that seven to ten times. Then you can slowly uh, make a pass and try to hit five to seven golf balls and see if you can actually make contact slowly uh, by coming from the inside. So slowly means something like this. I move the golf club about that fast. The whole idea is being able to monitor the actual direction that the golf club is moving while it is moving. If I can do that slowly and small, then I can start to make that bigger. But what it gives you the opportunity to do is to understand how this golf club can actually reach a point at the top of the backswing that once it starts forward, the club will be delivered from an inside path. Fantastic drill to gain awareness of swing direction. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll see you next time.